Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. This is Marco from Gallery Play, and today I'm going to be showing you how to loop your time lapse seamlessly using Adobe Photoshop so that when you post your time lapse to social media, to Instagram or Facebook, it will play back without any kind of hard cut or jump cut uh, and will appear to be endless or infinite. So let's begin. As you can see, I have actually uh, already assembled my time lapse and exported it as a video file. And the easiest way to get this into Adobe Photoshop is to simply drag and drop it onto the icon in your dock. Okay, as you can see, the video has now loaded in our video timeline here. It's a little bit long at 12 seconds. We usually recommend trimming clips down to about six or seven seconds. The reason being that a lot of our clients actually uh, license this kind of content for use on their website. They use it as wallpaper and so it's in their interest for the clips to be small in file size in order to keep their website loading quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this back to the six or seven second mark. That should suffice. Now that I've done that, I'm going to take the cursor and I'm going to, I'm going to move it to the middle uh, of the clip. It doesn't have to be dead center, just somewhere or near the middle. And I'm going to select the scissor icon in order to split it into two separate clips. Now, as you can see down here in our pay layers panel, um, we've actually created a new layer and I'm going to drag this outside of the video group in order to create a, a second track on our timeline. So we now have a lower track and an upper track. And next, I'm gonna reverse the order of these two clips. So I'm actually gonna take layer one copy and I'm gonna move it to near the, or the very beginning of the timeline. And I'm gonna take layer one and move it backwards. But I'm gonna leave a little bit of an overlap of 20 or 30 frames about a second or so should do. And I'm now gonna fade in layer one copy. Uh, I can do that by clicking on the transitions icon by selecting the top option, fade, and simply dragging and dropping that onto the upper layer. One thing you wanna be a little bit wary of is you don't want your transition to actually exceed the length of your overlap, which is the case here. So this is our overlapping region and this is our transition. And as you can see, the transition is too long. And the reason that's problematic is that you will start to see the, the background layer shining through because the opacity has been lowered here. So uh, two ways to fix that is either you can move this layer forward or you can actually change the length of the transition and make it a bit shorter. Either will work. And that's pretty much it. Um, what we can do now is we can play it back and make sure that the loop is actually seamless, that uh, no hard cuts or no transition is visible. And in order to do that, we want to navigate to this menu over here. And we want to make sure that the loop playback option is selected. In my particular case, it already has been. And so I can now simply play back. And initially, the, the playback is going to be a bit choppy because it needs to render. But once this is all green, it should run smoothly. And let's see. Uh, this is the transition here. And that looks pretty good. No transition is visible. Uh, which is exactly what we want. There's no hard cut. It just appears to be infinite this time lapse when a f in fact it is of course a loop of six or seven seconds. And that's it. It's now ready to be exported. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you have a lot of this kind of content and you'd like to monetize it, do apply to Gallery Play. Uh, simply go to www.galleryplay.com slash application and send us a few examples of your work. We're always uh, looking for new creators to collaborate with and to add to our roster of loop experts. And we look forward to seeing your time lapses.